Good morning, walkers. Welcome back. Haven't been out for a while because of the weather. It's been rainy. Then it got really hot. It's just not something we want to go walking in, either of those. Today we're at Havener Park. This is in uh, Delaware County, about 30 minutes north of uh, where we live. There's a nice ride up 315 in the... Wow, look at all these flowers. This is really pretty. There's some wild corn. Did some research on this park and it looked really nice. Um, the trail's, I'm not sure how long it is, but it's, uh, let's see if there's any of these in here. Okay, there are. This used to be one of my clients. Muck mitt. So this park's divided into two pieces. One of them is Havener, the other one is Deer Haven, I believe it's called. One side is for uh, humans only. That's the Deer Haven side over here. It's got a nice building. And uh, from what I saw, which I won't be able to see, it has a, a mastodon skeleton in there and some uh, taxidermy of some local critters that live in this area. Um, I'll have to check that out when I don't have the dog. But uh, this side, the Havener side, is uh, completely wide open for pets. And uh, it's a nice winding trail that goes through some prairie, some fields, and some woods. Here's the prairie side. I hear some fog. Yeah, I hear people back here too. I'm gonna have to be on my toes with her when it comes to dogs. Some of these paths get a little bit skinny. This is amazing though. Look at how pretty this is. Leg. Leg. Slow down, You've got plenty of time. Here's a frog, Gabby. Okay, here's a dog. <clears throat> it's on leash. So I'm just gonna kind of hunker down over here. Hi there. Good girl. Good girl. Park's gonna give me some blind spots that I have to keep an eye out on. Gabby's been doing so much better when it comes to dogs. Usually she doesn't do anything except for get a little hyper and her hackles raise a little bit, but as long as the other dog doesn't start growling, or barking, we're in good shape. She pretty much uh, has been ignoring most dogs. And uh, that was a pretty close call right there. It was only about five feet between them. And she did pretty good. Slower, slow. No need to rush. Chance to use my mutt mitt here. 
Yeah, I'll grab one of these instead. That's Gabby, wherever we go, she has to leave a little gift. But I get to pick up this little uh Bad. Probably gets pretty full when it rains. Yeah, don't go down there. I did a little bit of research on this park before I came. Um, the trails are really nice. They're all pretty manicured with uh, crushed stone and uh, the park itself gets amazing ratings like 4.8 out of 5 you don't see that too often so I figured we definitely had to come up here and check it out it's uh, perfect for what we need I suspect on the weekends it gets pretty darn busy though you face girl here, Gabby. Let me put these poops away. Hold on. Come here. I bought a uh, backpack. Hold on. Here. Bought a backpack for uh, a first aid kit to carry around. Come on. I said, hold on. Yeah, I got this. And I uh, came with all, pretty much everything I needed. We're going on the trail with the pup. I added some stuff to it. It's got gauze pads and some, um, what's this stuff called? Hydrogen peroxide, some Benadryl. It's got an ice pack. It's got cotton balls and thermometer and all sorts of good things in here in case anything happens on the trail. And, uh, Hopefully I don't ever have to use it, but it's nice to know that I have it if I do. And it just fits right in here. Got a water bowl. So we got this for free from uh, Amazon the other day during Prime. They gave me a gift. Pretty nice. And this is a nice light backpack and it's got water. Just toss it over my shoulder. And we have safety. Hold on, girl. Okay. Let's get back, back in business. There's supposed to be a lot of deer in these woods, too. Gabby, leg. Leg, leg, good girl. There's a deposit station right there. I did read that uh, this place has multiple bag and garbage cans throughout the woods for the dog walkers. I thought that was pretty cool. But I just put her poop away. <laughs> so we're not gonna... Hmm. Let's see, this way, this way, let's see what this says. I 
Alright. Far away. Uh, oh my gosh, does that say eight miles? No, two miles. Woo. We're somewhere around here. Right there. So we can go here. Okay, we're at the crossroad right here. Okay. So we're gonna go all the way around here. Let's see how that takes us. What is that? 0. 0.79, it's about a mile loop like that. We can go over here and then come back and come back down. Let's give that a try. In Delaware County, they call their parks preservation parks. And uh, this is a fairly large area that is, uh, it doesn't have paths or people. So it's a nice uh, wildlife and nature reserve. There's a nice tree that fell down here some long time ago, it looks like. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Quarry Park. Quarry Park? Mm, something like that. It's a mixture of all the parks. It's kind of a little bit like High Banks too, but the paths are a little bit more uh, well manicured. Right now, I'm the only one back here, I can tell. Oh, I just said that and I see people over there. They should be spread out far enough in between that we don't have any problems. It's nice to be out and about again. It's getting kind of bored walk-wise, just walking around the neighborhood. It's even too hot to do that for a few days there, that big heat wave we had. Even Gabby didn't want to go outside. Took her back to uh, the park, or it's not really, yeah, I guess it is a park, Anheuser Bush, where she got stung by a bee last time we were there, and uh, she was not happy to be back. I thought, you know, I took her yesterday, I thought after a week without walking, that she'd be interested in uh, going there. But she uh, remembered the bee sting and didn't want to have anything to do with the open field there. Uh, I took her on the open field and she was really anxious and she pretty much dragged me back to the van, like right across the field in the diagonal, um, just to get away from it because uh, she was afraid she was going to get stung again, I guess. I guess dogs can think that way. In her defense, there were a lot of bees out on the grass again. It's uh, pretty much a field of clover. And, uh, yeah, so she wasn't happy. I'm going to have to give that park a rest for a few until she forgets about it. She's got a good memory, though. Whenever I drive by, by a park that she's been to, she knows it. Sticks her nose out the window and knows exactly where she is. Just a blind turn here. Looks like we're safe. Yeah, this is one park I definitely hope that the dogs stay on leash. There are big signs that say stay on leash, so. Hopefully people will heed that. It's just too tight otherwise. Let's 
Sacks and cray, little cray cray. I hear something out there. I bet there's uh, some critter stalking around. Right. There's some raspberries. Let's see if there's any ripe ones. There's a couple. A little small, but looks tasty. Ooh. Good. Sour. There's a nice little one. When we were in California, they had berries as big as my palm. I, I do have small hands, but rest assured, these things were huge. I've never seen berries that big before. There's berries all over the place here. Okay, we got another path choice. No paths, okay. That's an easy solution. This part must be going back into the um, human-only side. It's kind of cool they do that, I guess. A little discriminatory, but I get it. Oh, look at the thorns on this thing. That is lethal. Well, honey, we're not allowed down there. I'm not sure why they separate out the the dogs from certain places. I know this place has um, wooden boardwalks, which definitely are not conducive to dogs. Um, you're pretty much sequestered to the boardwalk area, and if they have to go potty, well, probably not a good thing. So I get it. You can share. As long as you stay on one of these paths too, it's a lot less likely you're gonna get uh, any ticks. There's a blind spot. We'll pull around a little bit. There we go. Wow, this is really nice back here. Leg. Hana, 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 Leg, please. Leg. Sound to a critter, I think. Leg, please. Good girl. There's a little place to explore down there.
Creek area. Go ahead, love. Here's a well-placed bench to take a rest after climbing this hill. This might be a nice place to come in the fall and winter too. I wonder if they, uh... nah, I'm sure they don't shovel the trails. No one park does in the winter. In Worthington, they shovel the snow. You hear a critter? Where are you going, Missy? Some poison ivy, shiny in the sun. It's a nice patch too. You getting, you getting tired, huh? Here. Leg. Here's a prairie. It's a Indian switch, little blue, and Virginia wild. Looks like my backyard when I don't cut the lawn. Must be native grasses. Here's some more blackberries. These are bigger ones. Well, these are raspberries, I think, not blacks. Somebody had been picking them. There's one. You gotta be in the right place, right time. That one's pretty good. Gotta share them with the deer, I guess. Ooh, here's one. You like blackberries? No, I don't think you do. There's another one. Mm. These blackberry bushes are all over. Mm. Raspberry or whatever. Hell they are. Hmm. This way, honey, pal. Come on, baby. It's not bad out today. It's about 75 degrees. 
we're touching the hundreds there for a few days. It was not fun. This is actually pleasant. It's like it's kind of hot in the sun. But overall, this is the way it should be right here, or a little bit cooler. Must be some sort of bird or bat or flying critter thing. Okay, she's afraid of bees. You know how it feels too, I got stung at least twice while I was working in the front garden. Uh, I think I was stung three times. Those things are nasty. I don't remember them lasting that long. I haven't really beat up this summer. It comes to bug bites and stings and scrapes and scratches. I did some shade here.
Ramadan hani. You're okay. You're not going to bite you. Leg. Hold on. Hold on. Leg, leg, leg. Thank you. Definitely paranoid. <laughs> Poor dog. Didn't think it really caused her much uh, concern. After she got stunned, she was kind of like hopping around and trying to run away from the pain, dragging me around to the car. And uh, and she licked it for probably an hour. And I gave her some uh, Benadryl. And uh, probably by the end of the night, it wasn't even a matter anymore. Could be a good one for uh, people who aren't as mobile. It's a nice flat, uh, well manicured path. There is a hill that I walked up that you saw before. Um, the only real issue is that once you're on the trail, you have to kind of stick with it until it gets you somewhere. Um, so for people who can't do much more than a quarter mile or a half mile, this wouldn't be a good idea. But otherwise, you could probably uh, do fairly well. It's good for older people. Maybe even people uh, in well, most places with a back, backwoods wheelchair, if that's anything that they make. Big knobby tires. That'd be cool. If I had to use one, that's what I want. Okay, Gap. Yeah. Getting buzzed by a, some sort of bugs here. And she's uh, not liking the sound of it.
Come here. Let's look at the map. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it doesn't have a UR. Well, it says UR here, right there. But it doesn't show what the sign is. I am here. I can't be that far down. Maybe I'm right there. Yeah, that's right. I'm right here. Yeah. So if I go this way, this goes to the empty parking lot that I passed by with the soccer ball fields. Zip. Zip. All right, we're going to walk down that way and then turn around and then come back around here and back down to where we're parked. Oh, let's try that. So we're going to make a, a right that guy's going when we come back. Okay, let's go. I have to say the park isn't as visually exciting as some of the other ones that I've been to. Um, but it's a nice walk. Should be coming out here to the fields. There they are. like the path just kind of starts off the fields. I think next time the park yeah. Yeah. I think next time we're gonna just park in the same place we are now. That looks like a pretty wasted walk from that parking lot right there. Come on honey honey. Let's go back in here. Let's go back to the way. Beautiful day. Slow it down, girl. There 
There you go. She hasn't been liking the heat at all. She tends to find a shady spot as quickly as she can and just kind of hunkers down. She likes being outside, but when it was <clears throat> in those crazy triple digit days, she didn't really want to have anything to do with going outside. When a dog doesn't want to go outside, you know there's issues. My other two dogs, on the other hand, they could care less. They would like to be outside all day. Although they like going inside when I said AC. They're not dumb. Fun on an ATV. I'm sure, the park rangers that work here have a pretty fun time driving around during off hours. Go right. Right. Good girl. This is gonna give us a healthy walk. We're at uh, 45 minutes right now. Still heading back to the shelter house. Pushing it a little bit, the girl, but we're heading into some shady woods here, which she's uh, making a beeline for. There we go. Gotta be slow. Slow down. It's not a road race. Slow down. Come here. Come here.
that I grabbed some more mitts. She's going for a record today. I think it's because she's a little bit anxious. I've noticed that she tends to uh, go potty more when she's anxious. Interesting. Lay down for a minute. Lay down. You're not going to get bit. Here's a little hairpin turn. Goes back over there. Get up. Sit. Sit. Good girl. Just relax for a minute. No, no, no. Not going anywhere. Sit. Take a sit and take a break. There you go. Lay down. Lay down. Put your belly down. There you go. We'll cool off for a couple of minutes. So my other dog, Bailey, what I've got to do is DNA test. Today. I gotta get it done out in the mail. Um, he's got really bad allergies this year. I probably have mentioned in another video that nobody watches. And uh, I broke down and I got him some uh, medication because he's just miserable. I mean, he's just bite, licking his paws and biting his paws, and his ears are starting to get wacky and his guts out of whack too. So I bought him some generic Zyrtec, which is uh, one of the more popular drugs prescribed for animals. Um, it's considered safe, unless the dog has uh, kidney or liver issues, which I'm 99% sure that Bailey has neither. Um, he just has, uh, and he always has uh, an immune, immuno deficiency issue because um, I think he was probably taken from his mama a little bit too young and didn't get all the, the good stuff from her. I'm just assuming that I have no idea. But he uh, just gets so itchy. I feel so bad for him. And he gets it in all the classic places, the ears, the paws, the butt, and the groin area. Um, so I'm trying to give him some relief. Uh, until we get past this season. Um, it is a seasonal thing mostly for him. He uh, gets ear infections in the uh, winter sometimes when it's wet and warmer. Um, but uh, this year has just been insane. Gets, uh, I think he transfers the yeast from his feet to his ears, from his ears to his feet, and then he scratches his chin and it just gets all over the place. Um, while the Zyrtec doesn't solve the problem, it only treats the symptoms, it'll give him some peace so he doesn't keep scratching. Um, if that doesn't work, I guess we're gonna have to go to the vet, figure out something. There's a drug called Apoquel that's supposed to be uh, real good for dogs and but from what I'm reading, the Zyrtec should do the trick. It's for uh, dermatitis, which is what he has. <coughs> so I got my fingers crossed. It should be coming today or tomorrow. I've been giving him Benadryl in the meantime. Um, doesn't seem to be doing as much, and I've read that that's the case for some dogs. The Benadryl just doesn't cut it. 
So hopefully the Zyrtec will do it. Um, he's definitely our asthma baby. These other two dogs, Gabby's, I think, in pretty good health. She's kind of breathing hard right now because of the walk, and it's getting hotter. Uh, but I think we're almost back to the car. We'll get her into some AC and some liquid refreshment. Um, yeah, she definitely had some anxiety today. Um, doesn't like the open areas with the grass. She was sticking to the, um, what's this stuff? the crushed stone walkway as much as she could. Um, I didn't think dogs had that imprintable memory like that, but I guess they do. She's never really liked grass, and I'm wondering if she got stung before. She's always been very ginger, ginger about it, and in our backyard, she prefers walking in the beds all the way back to the door rather than crossing the lawn sometimes. She's just strange. Are you strange? Smile. See, she's anxious. I don't know why. Poor girly. Dogs just are anxious beings sometimes. Kappa, are you anxious? I said, I'm anxious, please. Thank you. Okay, let's go. Oh, leg. It makes it easier if the leg's not there. There you go. Okay. It's nice to find a new place, a little bit further away than I like. Um, but it's worth the drive, I think. Once it gets cooler, uh, I'm sure there'll be some more people here and we'll come back and give it another try. It's pretty much what I expected. Thought there'd be some more creek access, but uh, I guess you make access where you find it. I've always liked Delaware County. It's a place that I would consider moving to. It's just uh, about a half hour north of Columbus. It becomes a little become become a little bit more developed over the years. They have all you know retail you need and all that stuff. But you drive you know, ten minutes out, you get into farm country pretty quick. Um, I drove by some nice properties on the way here that I'm like, oh, I wouldn't mind living right there. This is really pretty out right here. I start thinking about moving. It's not extremely happy where I am right now. In the living situation and other. Here, let's make sure we're going the right way, honey. Okay. We are here. Uh, let's go this way. This is the way out. Yep, there's that crazy down tree right here, and here's all these walnuts, of which that's a walnut tree. Mm. No, I don't know what that is. I think it's our neighbor has one. They're growing in my yard right now, all over the place. I hate the little suckers.
Commissioner. I must have poisoned something or another. I don't want it on me. Or you. You see a squirrel? Uh oh, we saw squirrels. That looks like a squirrel tree, all right. And I saw hyper. Awesome. All right. Slow. Slow. <laughs> She's so funny. Did he go away? I think he scared him. He didn't like you hopping at him like that. Just had a, a vision of this uh, dog that I took to a pet option event on Saturday. Um, cute little beagle mix or some sort of hound mix. I don't know what he is. He's about 10 months old. Licks, 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 licks your face. And uh, a nice small size, about a third of the size of my smallest dog. Anyway, he. Uh, had these wiggly dew claws. I mean, they were hanging on by like a thread. Whoever adopts him, and he got adopted the next day. I'm so happy to have found that out. Um, they probably should take him to the vet and see if they want to uh, ligate them or take them off, because um, I think they're gonna cause him problems. They're just so wiggly. Um, some dogs just have oddities with their dew claws, and if they're too floppy, they can really hurt themselves, and it's just better to uh, amputate them. I think they're kind of like vestigial thumbs that have just kind of shrunk back over time for dogs, and they, of course, really don't need them. Cause you don't, you don't have hands. You got paws. Okay, so we're back out to the field. Much to Gabby's distaste. There's that building. Gotta take a pee. Should have done it in the woods. That was a pretty nice walk. About an hour. Looked a lot shorter on the map. And again, it always does. Sounds like there's a uh, marsh back there. Can't see it. But I can hear frogs and stuff. I didn't realize cone flowers were wild. I thought you had to plant those. Yeah, maybe they were planted. We have a lot of those in our yard. I like them. They're pretty. They last a long time. They don't even look terrible when they die either. Come on now. Stay there so you don't get bit. Yeah, this is pretty. Cool. Pretty uneventful walk. Nice and calm. Yeah, you may dif disagree a little bit. This place is pretty dead, even though there are cars here. Got a street. This way. You're okay. You're okay. I think she's happy to see the car. <laughs> she's been losing weight though. These walks are really good for her arthritis and her continued health as she turns 10 years old in December. Gotta keep her kicking for a while. 
She's my girl. Are you my girl? Hop in, my girl. Okay. There you go. There's one in the books just over an hour. We're going to head back, throw the AC on here. There's some water in there for her. Gabby, take a drink. And uh, hopefully we'll do this again soon. Hopefully the uh, weather is going to calm down a little bit. It was nice today. It's definitely hot now. Is it hot, Gabba? Yes, I'm pretty hot. It just makes me just want to like, just put my tongue out and just get all the air that I can in my tongue. Okay, baby. Kisses. See y'all later. Peace.